Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss how to sketch and read circle graphs. Now, a circle graph or a pie chart is a graph in the form of a circle that is divided into sectors with each sector representing a part of a set of data. Now, see the following circle graph. It represents the data distribution of favorite ice cream of the students in a class. Here this circle is divided into three sectors. This red sector represents percentage of students who like chocolate ice cream. This blue sector represents percentage of students who like strawberry ice cream and this green sector represents percentage of students who like vanilla ice cream. So we can read that in the class 55% of the students like chocolate ice cream, 30% of the students like strawberry ice cream and 15% of the students like vanilla ice cream. Also we must note that the sum of percentage on a circle graph will always equal to 100% as here you can see 55% plus 30% plus 15% is equal to 100% Now let us see how to sketch circle graphs the data given to be represented in a circle graph can be either in percentage or in frequency distribution. Now let us see how to sketch circle graph when we are given frequency distribution. Now consider an example. Now this table shows the results of a survey to know the number of people having no pet, one pet, two pets, and three or more pets. In the first column we are given the category of pets and in second column we are given the frequency for each category. Now we can represent this data in a circle graph. In step 1 we will find the total number of people surveyed that will be equal to sum of all the frequencies that is 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 which is equal to 24 in step 2 to make a circle graph we will find the appropriate angle measure for each sector such that sum of angles of all the sectors is 360 degrees so to find the angle measure of each sector, we write each group of people as a fraction of all the people and multiply it by 360 degrees. So angle measure for no pet is given by number of people in this category that is 10 upon total number of people that is 24 into 360 degrees. And on calculating, this is equal to 150 degrees. Similarly, for one part, angle measure is 8 upon 24 into 360 degrees. That is equal to 120 degrees. Then for two parts, it is 4 upon 24 into 360 degrees. That is equal to 60 degrees. And for three or more pets, it is 2 upon 24 into 360 degrees. And on calculating, this is equal to 30 degrees. Now here we see that 150 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. Now in the next step, we will draw the circle graph using protractor 
First we draw the circle. Now here we have drawn the circle. Now we have found the degree measure for category no pets and it is 150 degrees. So here we use a protractor to draw the angle measuring 150 degrees and we label this sector with category and frequency. Here the category is no pet and frequency is 10. Similarly we draw other sectors and we obtain the circle graph. We also give suitable title to the circle graph that is number of pets. Now in a circle graph 360 degrees represents the total frequency. So 360 degrees upon total frequency will represent one frequency. Now in this example 360 degrees represents 24 people. So 360 degrees upon total frequency that is 24 represents one frequency that is one person. Now 360 degrees upon 24 is equal to 15 degrees. So 15 degrees represents one person on the circle graph. Now let us see how to make circle graph when the data is given in form of percentage. Now here we are given this data in percentage form. Here the first column represents favorite ice cream and the second column represents the percentage of students for a particular category. And we have to make the circle graph for this data. We will directly find the angle measure for each category by multiplying each percentage by 360 degrees. Now for chocolate flavor, angle measure will be 55% of 360 degrees and on calculating this is equal to 198 degrees that is 55 upon 100 into 360 degrees which is equal to 198 degrees. Similarly we have found the angle measure for each category that is the angle measure for each sector. Now to make it circle graph we will use the protractor and label it as we had shown in the earlier example. Thus we get the following circle graph for the given data. And here you can see angle measure for blue sector is 108 degrees and this blue sector represents that 30% of students like strawberry flavor 15% of students like vanilla flavor and 55% of students like chocolate flavor. Now let us discuss how to interpret the circle graphs. Suppose 40 students were surveyed to know the favorite ice cream flavor. The data collected is represented in the following circle graph. From this representation that is from this circle graph let us find which is the most preferred ice cream. Now to know the most favorite ice cream we look at the circle graph and we see that highest percentage belongs to the red sector representing chocolate ice cream. So most preferred ice cream is chocolate. Now let us find that how many students like strawberry ice cream 
Now from this graph you can see that total number of students surveyed is 40 and 30% of students prefer strawberry ice cream. So number of students who like strawberry ice cream is equal to 30% of 40 that is equal to 30 upon 100 into 40 which is equal to 1200 upon 100 that is equal to 12. So 12 students like strawberry ice cream. Thus, we can interpret the results from the circle graph. So, in this fashion, we have learned how to sketch and read circle graphs. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.